Welcome to my online class. This is Akmal Hussain, lecturer at Biology Square High School and College. Now I am going to take a zoology class of Standard 10, Chapter 5, Digestive System Part 1. Follow the picture. What can we see? A vegetable shop where there are few different types of vegetables are there. Observe the following picture. Different types of foods. Do you know? how they will be digest in our body. Today's topic is digestive system. Definition of digestive system. At first you have to know what is digestion. The process through which complex foods are converted into simple and absorbable form is called digestion. Or we may say the process through which complex foods are converted into simple and absorbable form by the help of some enzymes and hormones is called digestion. The organs which take part in digestion is called digestive system that means lip, tongue, salivary glands, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, pancreas, all are different parts of our digestive system. Digestive system we may divide it into two. Number one, alimentary canal. Number two, digestive, digestive glands. What will we learn from this chapter? We will be able to know the organs of digestive system of human being. We will be able to draw a labeled diagram of digestive system. We will be able to know the parts of teeth and the names of the parts. Now, alimentary system or alimentary canal. Follow the picture. Alimentary system started from mouth and end on anus. There is a tube like, some sac like, again tube like, tube like, tube like, finally anus. That means the long tube like structure is called alimentary canal. As well as some glands like salivary glands, liver pancreas, gastric, gastric glands, small intestinal glands, large intestinal glands, all are included in alimentary gland. Alimentary system or alimentary canal consists of number one, mouth, number two, buccal cavity. Buccal cavity again consists of tongue, teeth and salivary gland. Number three, pharynx. Number four, esophagus. Number five, stomach. Number six, intestine. And finally, anus. Now, we will know briefly about different parts of our digestive system. Mouth. Mouth is the first portion of our digestive system. It is a transverse aperture which is covered with our upper and lower lip. Function helps to intake the food from outside to buccal cavity or oral cavity. Buccal cavity, a transverse aperture just beneath the mouth. It carries mainly three parts. Number one, tongue. 
नंबर टू टीथ नंबर थ्री सेलिवर ग्लैंड्स टंग ए मास्कुलर ऑर्गन हुई हेल्प्स टू मिक्स द सेलिभा विथ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फूड एज वेल एज हेल्प्स टू टेक द टेस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फूड टीथ देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ टीथ आर देर इंसिसर कैनाइन टीमोलर एंड मोलर इन ह्यूमन बॉडी देर आर थार्टी टू टीथ आर देर इन देर एडल्ट कंडीशन इंसिसर फंड फोर फंड फोर आर इंसिसर हुई हेल्प टू काट द फोर्ट देन कैनाइन both side of the incisor one and one that means two in each jaw helps to tear the food premolar both side of the canine two plus two that means four in each jaw premolar helps to grinding and finally molar three plus three that means Three left side of the is jaw and three right side of the is jaw. Total six are molar. For your kind information, the last teeth of both side of the is molar is jaw is called wisdom teeth. That means total four. Who is included in molar is called wisdom teeth. Salivary glands surrounding the oral cavity or buccal cavity. There are six pair of salivary glands, which secretes different types of saliva and helps to digest the different types of food, especially carbohydrate type of food. Here we can see the oral cavity. in front of oral cavity upper lip lower lip that means this is the mouth or mouth aperture then the oral cavity oral cavity consists of tongue teeth as well as three types of salivary glands pharynx just beneath of or just ending of buccal cavity there is a tube like structure called pharynx we may divide it into three nasopharynx which is started from nasal cavity oropharynx just beneath of oral cavity and beneath of oral cavity is called laryngopharynx function helps to swallow the food from buccal cavity to esophagus there is a lid like structure name epiglottis esophagus a long tube like structure originated from the pharynx to stomach about 25 cm long is called esophagus function carry the food from pharynx to stomach stomach a sac like structure muscular wall inner wall carries huge amount of glands which secretes gastric juice in gastric juice especially hydrochloric acid is present which helps to break down the food particles and convert it into the chyme intestine intestine divided into two number 1 small intestine and number 2 large intestine small intestine about to 6 cm about to 6 m long coil shaped or spiral tube like structure is small intestine small intestine divided into three number 1 duodenum number 2 jejunum number 3 ileum first portion is duodenum middle portion is jejunum and final portion is ileum you know 
ইলিয়াম ইনার ওয়াল অফ ইলিয়াম ক্যারিজ ভিলাই অ্যান্ড দিস ভিলাই রেসপন্সিবল টু অ্যাবজর্ব দ্য ডাইজেস্টেড ফুড লার্জ ইন্টেস্টাইন লার্জ ইন্টেস্টাইন অ্যাবাউট ওয়ান ফাইভ মিটার লং ওয়ান পয়েন্ট ফাইভ মিটার লং দো ইট ইজ শর্ট দেন দ্য স্মল ইন্টেস্টাইন বাট ইট ইজ কল লার্জ ইন্টেস্টাইন বিকজ দ্য ডায়ামিটার অফ লার্জ ইন্টেস্টাইন ইজ মোর দেন দ্য স্মল ইন্টেস্টাইন ইট ইজ অলসো ডিভাইডেড ইন্টু থ্রি ফার্স্ট পোর্শন সিকাম সেকেন্ড পোর্শন কলম কলন অ্যান্ড ফাইনালি রেকটাম অ্যানাস দ্য অ্যাপারসার থ্রু হুইজ আনডাইজেস্টেড ফুড পার্টিকেলস ইলিমিনেটেড ফ্রম দ্য বডি অ্যান্ড কন্ট্রোল বাই এ মাস্কুলার রিং ফলো দ্য পিকচার দিস ইজ দ্য স্টোমাক এন্ডিং পোর্শন অফ স্টোমাক স্মল ইন্টেস্টাইন ইজ স্টার্টেড দেন লার্জ ইন্টেস্টাইন ইজ স্টার্টেড হিয়ার জাংশনিং পোর্শন অফ স্মল ইন্টেস্টাইন অ্যান্ড লার্জ ইন্টেস্টাইন দেয়ার ইজ ফিঙ্গার লাইক পজিশনস নেম অ্যাপেন্ডিক্স অ্যান্ড দি ইনফেকশন অফ অ্যাপেন্ডিক্স ইজ কলড অ্যাপেন্ডিসাইটিস let us see a picture of digestive system our digestive system is made up of a series of organs that allows our body to get the nutrients and energy it needs from the food we eat digestion starts in the mouth where chewing and saliva breaks down food so it is more easily processed by your body once you swallow the food enters the esophagus which is a muscular tube that connects the pharynx or throat to the stomach. The esophagus contracts as it moves food into the stomach. A valve called the lower esophageal sphincter or LES is located just before the opening to the stomach. This valve opens to let food pass into the stomach from the esophagus and it prevents food from moving back up into the esophagus from the stomach. Next is the stomach, an organ with strong muscular walls. It holds the food and mixes it with acid and enzymes that continue to break the food down into a liquid or paste. Almost 20 feet long, the small intestine, also called the small bowel, is the workhorse of the digestive system. It will continue to break down food with enzymes released by the pancreas and bile released from the liver. It is made up of three segments, the duodenum, which continues the breakdown of food, and the jejunum and ileum which are mainly responsible for the absorption of nutrients. Aiding the digestive process is the pancreas. Among its other functions, the pancreas helps digestion by producing digestive enzymes and secreting them into the duodenum, the first segment of the small intestine. These enzymes break down protein, fats, and carbohydrates. The liver is another organ with many functions. Its main responsibilities in the digestive process are to make and secrete bile and to process and purify the blood, which contains newly absorbed nutrients that are coming from the small intestine. Bile has two main purposes, to help absorb fats and to carry waste from the liver that cannot pass through the kidneys. Bile made in the liver travels to the small intestine through bile ducts. If the bile isn't needed immediately, It is stored in the gallbladder, which is a pear-shaped reservoir located just under the liver. The gallbladder sends this stored bile into the small intestine to aid in the digestion of food. Next along the journey is the colon, or large intestine. It is a five to seven foot long muscular tube that connects the small intestine to the rectum and is responsible for processing waste so that defecation is easy and convenient. The rectum is an 8-inch chamber that connects the colon to the anus. The rectum receives stool from the colon, sends signals to the brain if there is stool to be evacuated, and holds stool until evacuation can happen. The last part of the digestive tract, the anus, consists of pelvic floor muscles and two anal sphincters, internal and external. Together, their jobs are to detect contents in the rectum, determine whether the contents are liquid, gas, or solid, and then control when stool should or shouldn't be excreted from the body. 
It's useful to understand the digestive system and the role it plays in your overall health and well-being. Knowing where to go when conditions of the digestive system affect your health and well-being is just as important. The University of Michigan Health System Now, homework. Draw a label diagram of digestive system. You have to draw a label diagram of digestive system and it will better if you submit the label diagram of our digestive system.